Galvik 187. Let's see what happens here. I'm still kind of upset with Dr. Zero's mullet, which is a sentence that I should probably not say all that often. These accommodations fit for a ruler of worlds and dimensions. There's a hall closet. Storage space. Excellent. As long as there are no disturbances. Hey, you guys want to keep the noise down? I can't hear myself be obnoxiously loud downstairs. Yes, bringing it right back around to that. But on the one side, I hope a cartoonish villain would vaporize the comic uh, impression. Comic version. Comic. No, there's another word that I can't think of right now. Uh, the comic version of that guy who was an idiot. Now, this also plays into why Kenny and Jeff are getting Mr. F I forgot to look that up. Filch. Mr. Filch. To help them find an apartment because they were actually renting from him in the first place. Because when Doctor Zero is looking for a place, this is one that Mr. Filch is showing them. And, and it is kind of interesting because before showing him showing them all of these other ones, which are just little cardboard boxes and stuff, and he shows them this this one. So by his logic, this is actually the worst one, because he shows the worst one first, and the best one's last. So this apartment above this guy, this frat house and ball cap wearing bro. Oh, I'm going to use that as an insult. Yes, I certainly am. He's such a bro. Some bros are cool. You know, you can get a bro who's actually quite a nice guy, and there are some pretty pretty nice bros out there, but this guy, oh, he's such a bro. And the problem is, he's one of those really self-centered bros. Ugh. I don't need to describe that too much. Because you all know what I'm talking about. And I was talking about Mr. Phil finding the environment. So, yeah, living above, up the, above this bro is worse than living in a cardboard box. I think that's kind of what I'm saying. I want to draw the attention, because I haven't done it just yet, to the bro's sunglasses. Now let's talk of how I drew that. I seem to draw a straight line, and then I just sort of do these two hanging loops, and then I just shade them in. But the thing is, there doesn't appear to be any uh, differentiation between the shades. And they're kind of off the face a little bit, because, you, you know, well, usually, usually the eyes are in the face. Just, you know, not... Mm, seven times out of ten the eyes are in the face with with your average human but with these guys it's, I, I've been doing alright so with sunglasses your glasses are off your face a little bit so what I had to do is I had to try to offset it a little bit by drawing the sunglasses the kind of double loop of the sunglasses just uh, yeah offset a little off the face not a big deal anyway with that aside, there's not much more to talk about this one. I just, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for vaporize. That's, uh, that's my hope. Forgetting again that these are my comics and I drew them in the first place. Oh, I'm not supposed to mumble because I mumble in my other videos. So yeah, I guess that's it. So, uh, comic three, uh, three hundred. Oh, don't I wish? One hundred and eighty-eight. We're coming up on two hundred. That's not bad. One hundred eighty-eight will be tomorrow.